Well, hello everyone, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok on Playframe, and we're feeling down, but working on it, actually working on it. I'm so proud of these two. Again, I will jump over there in a second, but first I have... <laughs> a lot happened last episode, and I'd had a couple of random thoughts, like, in the middle of it, but things kept happening and there wasn't really a good time to keep <laughs> thinking about or stewing on or talking about one thing before another thing went and happened. So, like, in the scene where Atreus leaves the Asgardians, makes his escape, gets back to us, the conversation between Sif and Thor gives a bit more clarity to something in the dynamic in that family. I I'd been mentioning last time about how, like, the more we learn about these characters, the more time we have with them, the more layers get peeled back and more gets revealed about how they are and why they are. The interaction between Sif and Thor, where it's clear that Sif has been one of the ones trying to get Thor to stop drinking, to convince him to do that. That makes it all the more clear why Odin is constantly ragging on him for trying to go sober. If Sif has been someone who has been kind of against Odin and anything that Odin's trying to do in general, like doesn't trust Odin and, does, and doesn't like her family being beholden to Odin's whims, that means that, like, Sif is kind of an enemy to him. It, Sif is someone who can convince others in the family to turn against him, making them less useful to him for anything that he might want for them to do. So, to discourage Thor from taking this path and keeping the approval of Sif, he's trying to withhold his own approval, keep on pushing Thor toward drinking again, keep on making Thor feel like an idiot who is worthless, keeping on, like, driving him toward his usual vices, which creates more of a wedge between Thor and Sif, which then keeps Thor being more useful to Odin. Like, that's that kind of just really garbagey human being or god or whatever manipulation type thing that Odin is pretty exceptional at, and I'm, I'm impressed with how they're depicting a lot of that here. There's a lot of thought that's gone into not just the plot of this story, but a whole lot of the character dynamics here, and I... Darn, I'm impressed. Anyway. Is it okay if we take the sleds? Absolutely. I need to think about what I'm going to say to him. Of course. I'm sure the dogs would love hanging out as well. Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. It does feel like it. If I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all, stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. We're having so many good talks lately. It's Mona. It's Becky. Dogs, you feeling ready for a sled ride? Come. More of a sled run for you, I guess. Still. We can take the sled when you're ready. Um, sled's this way, but yes. What, do we need to open a gate or something? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. Then we're off. Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Sindri did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. 
I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like rocks, leaves, its corporeal form, well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. I know. It was stupid of me to help in the first place. There's a question worth asking. I miss when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. I will follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge, it's still work. We can get up to the temple that way. Brother, remember we're headed to the temple. Well, I was. It did, okay. Just gonna go around to the other side, but this is fine. Figured out what you want to say yet? I'll let you keep thinking. Atreus, what makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. So oh, sorry. No. No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. Oh. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship, my home, my secrets, my treasures, and you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We. There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do is get the fuck out of my sight. Come on, Chase. family too.
this right. Is there? No. But I know I'll feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. Don't think she's gonna talk us out of vengeance, necessarily. When we get back. But I don't object. We really are going to war. It has come to that. Yes. When we were back in Svartalfheim, looking for Tyr, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing rock. We know, Atreus. We know. We really took everything from Sindri. Don't take to heart what's said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. see Freya, but I wouldn't mind staying here in Midgard for a little while. Aye, a few last adventures to take our minds off the state of, well, everything. I'm not opposed, I just don't know of a whole lot of adventures to be had right now, team. Like there's stuff to do, sure. I'm sure I can go find something out here to mess up, but, uh, hmm. What does the map say? There's not, like, any full-fledged favors or anything to do, but we are pretty short on completion in the area. Hey, you know what? Here's an idea. Maybe we should check on the turtle. Yeah, I think Turtle House might be worth visiting. Assuming we can get there. I'm not actually sure how best to get to Turtle House. Is that allowed? There's not really a path here. I mean, we could get there via the main story, but only very briefly. I don't think we can actually go here on purpose, can we? Huh. Maybe if we go, like, in... around here somewhere, we can find, like, a path kind of through? I'm feeling doubtful even as I say it, but... It's something to do to give the squad a little bit of time. Which I feel like they could use. I saw something glowing over here. I did. Well, here you go, crew. The distraction we needed. I don't think that achieved much. Um. It is very cool looking, though. If it, oh, that thing. I see. I see. I see. Well, kind of blew our chance there a little bit. Yeah, we'll get that one another time. Ah! 
Let's see if we're allowed to find our way to Turtle House. Well, here's another something. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello, hello. Get a boy. We gotta take out these springs. Oh, cool. On it. Where's the red? Ah, I see. Ah, I can only. Do damage to the springs when this thing's hurt. Got it. Changing arrow. Ow. Okay. Break it. Yeah. Did that? That didn't quite get it. There we go. All right. One left. Ow. Hey. Very good now. Last one. You break. There it is. There we go. Hey, nice. Got the last one of those. And whatever this is. Don't mind if I do. Where are we now? Okay. Let's explore this southern edge. Boy, a lot of spaces like this. Oh. Can't take the sled. Fine. Relic. Do you suppose it's the one we read about? Something to counteract a sleeping curse. Huh. Mystical heirloom. Awakens something dormant deep down inside of the bearer. Seems important, but doesn't seem to have any practical application in combat. That is interesting. Huh. Receipt of Purchase. It is with great pleasure that I, Ingolf Yoni, hereby transfer ownership of my most prized relic to one Alvis Stonefoot in exchange for one quarter equity of his fledgling forge, seventy-nine pieces of hack silver and one wheel of dry-aged gumma lost. May it awaken for him a trove of untold adventure and fortune, no returns or refunds accepted. Huh. Well, um... No. Hmm. Oh, I see. There's got to be a way to make that work. There we go. Hmm. Boy, I just left these around everywhere, huh? I guess I didn't have the spear at the time, but... Still. I 
think I see something. Starting to have a bad feeling about Turtle House visits, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing a route. I think, as best I can tell, I think that that area is not just freely accessible. Hopefully I'm wrong. But I'm not seeing a route right now, so... I think we might go ahead and just look for Freya. Ask her for a way to Turtle House. She really should go check on that thing. How did he do it? How did that mad bastard keep us from sniffing him out for so long? Planting a raven in a broom closet was audacious enough. He also had to keep us from looking inside while he was away in Asgard. That bad old act of his, the damage he performed, all a story crafted to render it beyond questioning how long he'd spend locked away in there. He counted on us to be sympathetic instead of skeptical. I'll never believe compassion is a weakness, but he sure used it as one. He sure did. Huh. Says I have XP available, but I don't. What would I spend it on? Oh, I guess we do have one more opening here. Frost Awakened can be instantly charged when Triangle is pressed momentarily after any Leviathan Axe attack. Nice. And I have that uh, the ver same version of that already for Blades of Chaos. I can't ever remember to use it, but I have it. Still a lot of upgrading left to do on this, too. Boy. I suppose I do have also... Uh, runic attacks, which can be... Upgraded some. Though, I guess I don't have that much XP. <laughs> Maybe later. We got places to be. I tried to find distractions, boy, really I did. Let's head to... I guess she's still at Sindri's house. I'd have thought she'd have left. Are we even sure Freya will still be at the house? Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake Tyr to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tyr's desire for peace and mine. Don't suppose real Tyr is still around anywhere? Possibly. Too much to hope for that one? You're back. Are you with us? Hmm. Good. It's time. Time for what, did I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail, or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go on. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means we need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call 
Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Surtur. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. But just like that, unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in Alfheim. And you, to Valheim? Yes, to find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. Nor Niflheim, nor Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. to Muspelheim to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission. Could be fun. Hey! Hey, handsome. I'm open if you need anything. We require a smith. I appreciate that a lot. Hey, y'all. Uh, I just wanted you to know if you need anything at all, I'll be around. Either here or at Brock and Zintry's old shops. Yeah, I know we're all busted up inside today, but, you know, I for one like to keep busy. And I appreciate it. Because I probably do have stuff, if not right now, then in the near future, that will definitely need upgrading. Wow, I can upgrade that again? Really? Gracious. Oh, that's what the purified crystalline stuff is for. Where did I purify it? Huh. I don't know, but I will take the upgrade. Should I? It seems like it's the last upgrade, though. I wonder if I should hang on to some of those resources. Maybe I will. We're hanging in there all right for now. I'm guessing for those last upgrades for various pieces of gear... The cost will be considerable, and the materials required to do that last upgrade, pretty scarce. You know, one thing that I am kind of curious to do, this may not amount to anything, this might be a bit of a waste, but I've been curious. So a lot of the gear we pick up has, the chest armor has a inherent built-in uh, sort of trait that uh, it is particularly good at. And they've all got various stats that they raise, and the higher level you make them, the more they bring up your kind of gear level overall. Um, and wrist armor and waist armor kind of have a trait that like, like gets stronger if you equip both of them. Like uh, my shield damage increase, which I've not been taking advantage of, is like up 50% because of these two pieces being matching and all that. I wonder about like my original set, like... Uh, If I were to upgrade this original set, would it develop anything? Like, anything of use or good? Would it get a trait eventually? Nice and bloody. I wonder. If we just go up a few levels, does anything happen? Really seems like no. Like, the stats go up, but otherwise, it doesn't have anything unique about it. That's a bit of a shame. It'd be nice to have some... Given everything needs to get upgraded to become of, like, value and to maintain use th as you go, it'd be kind of nice to be able to keep the original look on him over time if you wanted to. Ah, well. Our gear is good for now. And we have a job, so... 
Let's go start doing job. Any last minute thoughts from you? Master Kratos, young Master Atreus, I'm so relieved to see you safe. My infinite condolences to you all. I do not know what to say. I am devastated to hear about what happened to Master Brock. To think that something like that could happen in my home of all places. I am sickened and deeply sorry. Is Master Sindri all right? No. But he is safe. He has returned to Midgard. I see. I can only imagine the grief he must be feeling. Please, take care, you two. Until our next encounter, then. Thanks for the nice words. Let's go do our part. To Muspelheim. And... Yeah, here. You said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in his shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh, my. I hadn't really thought it through. Have we had the talk with our boy? Apologies. I have some doubts regarding negotiations with Rosfelger and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. That makes a lot of sense, actually. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. Nice. All right, well. That'll be our thing. But yeah, I feel like if we've not had the talk with Atreus, we should probably do that pretty promptly here. Because, um... The way they said joining in heavy air quotes might have nothing to do with that. But if it does, then I feel like we need to ground our son's understanding in the whole birds and the bees talk before this experience significantly complicates his first impression. Where is she? Niflheim, I think. Hmm. And uh, what do we got here? Thank you. If we head down towards that tower, we might be able to see the forge. All right, we'll hit the road. Just needed to loot the place. You know how it is. Heads up! That's a pretty one. Move away! Dodor wisps. Huh. Heck are those things? Uh, wisps. I guess we've run into those before, haven't we? Uh, Dodor wisps can turn into a trap of Bifrost. If you step in it and get hit, make sure not to be hit again or Bifrost will detonate. My, my. I wonder if they saw their prophecy and decided to isolate themselves in their home realms to fight it. Understandable. Hopefully they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to happen. We're all slowly coming around. Over there. Oh my. Y'all are big. Hey, don't do that. Watch your right. 
Please shoot these things, thank you. Oh, that's a lot of that. Ow. Die. And you. And lastly, the forge might be past this lava fall. Oh, got them all. Know this. When I was here before, I saw something that looked like a forge anyway. Easy. Don't fall into the lava. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready. Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're going to feel about it now. You would try to force these primordial beings into submission. Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? <laughs> I don't feel like that plan B is going to work. We gotta be close. I can hear the forge. Yes, yes. The priorities. Hello. CRN. Hmm. Oh, one of these. Okay. Uh-huh. And those are quite far away from here. Hang on. Hmm. Still quite tricky. I was hoping. Come on. And how could you possibly reach that last one? Yeah, I feel like I must be missing something I'd need for that to work. What if... Hang on. There we go. But this, though... Maybe... And then... And then... Quick! Ah, they're disappearing. There's no way, man. Killing me. Maybe. Come on. How's that not hitting? Uh, I guess I need to. Oh, man. Maybe. There 
There we go. I don't know if that was the right way to do it, but boy. That was tricky. Well earned. Whew. Anyway, what were we doing? Something ahead. Ready. It's a phantom. Gracious. That it is. A very grumpy, fiery one. Ow. I'm trying to hit it then and the rest of the times. Ow. There we go. Okay. We gotta take out these springs. Yep. Ah, needs to be four. Okay, there we go. Haha. <laughs> Keep hitting it. Ow. On fire. On fire but you probably already know that. Gracious. It's a lot of fire. Force weak! Hurry! One of its runic springs must be hidden. Uh wait. There it is. Hang on. Those pillars look weak. Maybe there's a spring there. Here we go. Wherever you are, you're done. Whew. Nice job. I'm really sweaty. Let us find Surtur. So many goodies in these pinatas. Through the broken gate. I think we're close. Ooh, and a new heavy runic attack. Not to ignore what you said, but... An array of chaotic cyclones rampages through the field, damaging all enemies in their paths. Eh, could be fun. We should at least see it, right? Well, it's actually been a pretty eventful day, and again, things are moving pretty fast when things get moving, so let's go ahead and call it, and I will see you all on Monday, when we find Surger and try to just get the Ragnarok going already. <laughs> We've waited quite long enough. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Goodbye!